and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the show that gives you all the extra material you need to really enjoy the Exile 6e webisodes. Today I'm very happy to introduce my guest Anna Tuberg, the party leader of the Swedish Pirate Party. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad that you could take the time to come. Uh, mm -hmm. Perhaps you would give the viewer a short introduction about yourself. You have not been that much on the show in the past. No, that's true. I am the leader of the Swedish Pirate Party, as you said. I used to be a book publisher and then I kind of accidentally slipped into piracy. Uh, and I'm very happy that I did. And uh, now I'm working with the Swedish Pirate Party, working for the elections next year. And I'm in Brussels to participate in the PPI, in the PPI conference, the Pirate Party's International Conference, and also to speak a little bit uh, at the viewing of uh, the Pirate Pay film. We will get back to that, but, mm -hmm. but first, uh, the ardent viewer uh, has, of course, seen you in one previous episode. And uh, I thought uh, you will not have to answer which one. Uh, actually, I will not say which one either, but we will make a competition. If you can post as a comment uh, which episode Anna Tuber was seen in the past, uh, you will get your very own XL60 t-shirt sent to you. So just post a comment after this uh, program. And the first one to give the correct answer will receive a t-shirt. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but let's not talk about the past episodes. Let's talk about the coming episodes because you mm. will be seen in two episodes. Yeah. As you said, uh, the PPI conference. Mm. Uh, you, you are here in Brussels for the PPI conference. Yes. But the PPI uh, conference is not here in Brussels. No, the actual conference is in Kazan. So they booked you on the wrong flight. <laughs> no, they didn't. Uh, it was just quite a few flights to get to Kazan. And then I learned that there would be a remote, uh, an opportunity to have a remote meeting from, from Brussels. So I jumped at that chance, a nice chance to participate in the conference and also to meet uh, pirates from here, which is, which is very nice. So, um, so you went here to uh, be there? Exactly. A little bit complicated, but you know. I, I suppose is great. there's some sort of computers involved <laughs> that transmit yes, things. Absolutely. Sometimes it it worked sometimes, but it, but it, on the whole it worked really really well, and I think it 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 was a very good idea to and I th and I hope they will continue to 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 do it that way, so more people can actually participate, even if they don't, you know, maybe have the the economic means to actually go to where the conference is held. And this was the 21st, 22nd of uh, April. Yes. So last weekend. Exactly. Uh, and what is your impressions of the conference? I thought it was very interesting. Um, I thought it was very fun to see that there were many different, new different countries that wanted to join the PPI. Uh, there were people from Japan, for instance, and Korea, which was very nice. Um, the Swedish Pirate Party did not apply to become members. We applied to become uh, observers of PPI. So and why is that? Well, it, it's, it's been a discussion for, for quite a few years in the Pirate Party in Sweden because, of course, the, the international cooperation is very important. But we also wanted to see um, w which way the organization developed. Um, and I think now, I mean, PPI has been, has been around for, for a few years and, and, you know, we've been working more and more countries are joining. So we want to be a little bit closer to the organization now. But you've been to previous PPI conferences as well. Yes, I went to Prague last year. And you almost went to Brussels for the PPI conference here. I did, but then there was a volcano in Iceland. So um, there, were, there was no flights, no trains, no nothing. There was absolutely no way of getting to Brussels, unfortunately, at that time. So uh, a good reminder is don't uh, schedule important conference when volcanoes erupt. Exactly. No. Uh, we will all try <laughs> it, to keep It might that be a little bit hard to plan that way, but mm, still. Well, I think they're going on some sort of schedule. I mean, there's <laughs> scientists researching volcanoes. They should be able to tell us when they erupt. We have a very successful pirate party in Iceland now. Maybe we can talk a little bit with them so, you know, they can... Uh, send us briefings. In, in ...negotiate a little bit with, with the Icelandic volcanoes. Well, the Icelandic pirate parties, have you had any contact with them? Because they're doing quite well in the polls right now. They will mm -hmm. have the elections. Actually, when you see this, I think the elections will be over. No, so, it could be. So we might have to add some sort no. of subtitle saying, it went really well for them. We're very glad that they went, <laughs> did so well. Well, no. Who could have uh, known that they would get that good a result? Um, the Icelandic pirates. Yes, I haven't had direct contact with them, but I know there's, a, there's been quite a few contacts between the party and the Icelandic pirates. And I mean, they've been up at like 9% or something in mm -hmm. the polls. Um, so I think they have a really, really good chance. So I think so uh, too. And I hope uh, to be able to interview one of the Icelandic mm -hmm. pirates in the future. If mm -hmm. you're an Icelandic pirate and you're seeing this, <laughs> come around to Brussels. We will set something up. Uh, yeah. But, uh, so PPI, uh, 
the best PPI conference ever? I've only been to two, so so that's a little bit hard so to it's top two. say. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's top two. Um, I think maybe since I was in Prague the last time, I was actually there. Then you meet more people, which is of course nice. Um, but I also thought it was very nice this year that you could actually take part even if you weren't in Kazan. I mean, it, it, it is a great idea. And I mean, we, we're a, a party that loves technology. And of course, we should also use technology to, to make our meetings accessible to more people. Perhaps try to make the remote uh, delegations even more integrated into the process in the future. I would say so. And I mean, it, it would be a great great way for activists in, in each country to, to uh, you know, like follow what's happening and you know, comment on everything that's going on. So I, th I think that's a really good idea. Well, uh, we're looking forward to see it. Um, the other thing you're here for is, mm -hmm. of course, the screening of the film uh, The Pirate Bay Away From Keyboard, that uh, when we speak will take place tonight, and, mm -hmm. and when you viewers see this, it happened years ago, like last week. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what are your expectations? You've seen the film before. I've seen the film before, but I'm looking forward to seeing it again. And it will be very nice. I, ha I haven't actually met the director before, and, and this time he's going to be here. Yes. Um, and we're going to have a little discussion afterwards. So I'm actually very much looking forward to that. Uh, the Pirate Party is mentioned briefly in the film. Could you re recapture for the viewers uh, how are yes. we involved with this whole thing? Uh, the, the Pirate Party, I mean, the Pirate Pay has al always had a very hard time to get a, an internet service provider. So For some reason. For some reason, you know, there's people who don't like them yeah. for some strange reason. Um, and about three years ago, we offered them to be their internet service provider, uh, which we have been uh, for a long time. So, th so that that is what they are discussing in the film, of course. Um, and as everybody knows, we are not their ISP anymore, unfortunately, um, because the copyright industry is very adamant that they should not have internet connections. So they tend to jump on everybody who tries to help them. Um, so they've been to Sweden, then they went briefly to Norway and Catalonia. And North Korea. And North Korea-ish. <laughs> and God knows where, where they are now. I mean, they are, all, they are always a few steps ahead. So, I mean, I, I don't worry about the Pirate Bay whatsoever. They, they are doing fine. Um, but, but still, I mean, it, it, it's been quite a commotion around that. And, I, and I'm sure me and, me and Simon, the, the director, will talk about this tonight. Okay. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to hear the discussion. Yep. I know that it will be featured, maybe not that entire discussion, mm. but uh, the screening will be featured in a future episode of Hacking the Exile. No, yeah. in, in Excel 6E. Um, mm. So uh, all you viewers will be able to see that as well. And uh, for the future, do you see any more episodes where you will, uh, you know, come into the picture on the XL60 show. Where we'll show. sneak in in the background. Yes. I hope so. I mean, I'm in Brussels now and then. Uh, so I, I um, well, if you don't come, don't come chasing me with the camera, I will come chasing you and make sure that I'm in front of the camera. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure I will be there. Excellent. And if you viewers have any ideas on how we should feature Anna in the future, feel free to post them at comments. <laughs> uh, obscene comments will be removed. We have Thank some sort you. of policy on that. Uh, but any, any good suggestions will probably be incorporated in future episodes. I uh, will not dance, though. Uh, dancing is a very good suggestion. You should probably <laughs> suggest which kind of dance you will uh, perform. No. I'm, I'm very convinced that she would be eager to dance for us. Well, we have a long and, tradition and, and, of party and, and, leaders dancing in this party. That is true. <laughs> Anything for the viewers. Yes. Maybe a little dance, a jig. Okay, so there's a promise of, of dance in the future. <laughs> I think that sort of sums up the episode. Uh, thank you for watching, Anna, thank you for coming. Thank you very uh, much. I will see you again in two weeks. And, yeah. well.